So now let's set up our backend. So we're gonna go to the main folder and we're gonna create another one, which is gonna call us backend. And then we're gonna open the terminal and we're gonna navigate to the backend folder. And here we're gonna initialize npm. And the way we do it is just npm in it. And I'm gonna add dash y because we wanna you know avoid getting the equation you wanna go. And then you're gonna click yes and then you know there. So I just wanna avoid that and directly npm in it. And if you know go to the folder, we're gonna have the package to JSON and we ready to install any you know package we want so the first package that we need which is the one that we're going to use which is express.js so how we do that we just npmi let me go here npmi and then call express so this way we're going to install express from the node library so we're going to wait and as now it's been installed so the way we create a server is very very simple so we're going to go to the backend and then we can create a new file which is going to call it server the GS, you can call it whatever, it's not a problem. The GS, you can call it whatever, it's not a problem. So first of all, we need to import, you know, the XP server. And the way we do it in the backend or in JavaScript normally on Node.js, you have const and then you name the package, which is going to be express and then you require it. It's not like import is different and I'm sure you know this. So now we imported the express. Now we're going to create an app, you know, an express app. So how we do it, we're going to const app and then we call express. So as a function you can name this whatever you want so also when we create a server you need to know a port to listen to so we're gonna add and then we're gonna listen to it so for example i'm gonna use ports 8000 and you have this option to add an arrow function right here to do something you know i'm gonna console log you know like server is listening so we know the server is working so this is up to you, you can do whatever right here. So now let's create some endpoints. So first of all, let's see if the server is running. So control G, this is the, the terminal. So how we run our server? We simply write node and then server.js, which is the file. And as you see, we get server is listening, but we don't have you know, any type of data or any type of route routing to see some data. So we can do something simple. Let's close this first. Let's go back here let's go to our application and add like a route which is gonna be git and then we're gonna go to the home you know which is the main one and then we're gonna have a function right here request response and you can do whatever right here so when we connect to the server you know slash which is gonna be localhost 8000 which is the main one we're gonna do something like rest to send so we send a message back welcome from home and you can take this and you know and create a new one and also for example slash books and we'll come from books you know just mind the typos trying to write so fast and then i end up ruining things so now let's go to the terminal again and run the same thing not server the gs and as you see server is listening we can go now and open our browser and we're gonna go to localhost 8000 and as you see this is the home so we get welcome from home as you see here uh, we have let's close this as we have right here welcome from home from you know the main one the home one slash now for example let's go to slash box and we're gonna see that we get welcome from box so let's go slash box and as you see we, we see right here welcome from box and in this main one we just have welcome from home one other thing also that you want to need to know about you know uh, having servers is like for example list changes from books like will come from i don't know the new books home okay i don't know okay i don't know what i'm writing so let's go back and let's go to slash books and as you're gonna see nothing changed that's because you need to go and you know run the server again so you need to stop it and then go no server gs now server is listening you refresh and then you get the new changes which is kind of sad so we're gonna have a solution for this so simply we're gonna have another package all it does it just whenever we save it restart the servers for us and the package is called nodmon it's very famous so npmi and then nodmon and we are on this we're gonna wait a little bit righty then it's taking a bit of time uh, as long as it's you know installing we're gonna go to the package to json my pc is lagging a little bit so let's go to package json 
it's installed as you see right here we have this script right here so we use this script to run like some codes codes in our application so we're gonna remove this and we're gonna add one so we're gonna click on it for example start and you can you know write everything here so the code that we wrote before was like node server dot js that was our code so we can go exactly right here and do the same thing so but this time we can just go npm start and you're gonna go to the package json in the in the, in the script is gonna change it to this so this is npm start and then it's gonna execute this code which is not server.js so if we run it it's gonna be as you see the same way and you see server is listening so for example this is for start like if you want to use like another one like server you have to use it different so it's gonna be npm run so it knows the script that's only available for start to use it directly so you have like another word so it's gonna be npm run and then what you're gonna run so server for example and you're gonna do the same thing but this is not for modmon to use nodmon you just add mon so now we're gonna use nodmon so now if we went again and then npm run server now our server is gonna run on node mode now it's watching every change that you made in the server is gonna automatically restart it sorry to get, to get the new changes which is pretty nice so let's go back to the server and now for example let's go right here just write some stupid thing like ha 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 so go to the browser back and you see if we refresh and we're gonna get it right here so you can go again and then write anything i'm too <laughs> i'm too sleepy to write something meaningful so let's go back again refresh and as you see now we don't need you know to you know uh, stop the server and run it again so this way is very very nice so there are other tools that we're gonna you know install and add to our server to add you know security and to allow uh, J json and all the stuff so we're gonna go step by step so as you see this is the simplest the easiest way to create an express gs server but one of the things that we're gonna learn after is cores so what are cores and what they're used for and how they protect our server see you in the next video see you in the next video